If you're just here for the quick how-to, I'll start with that. If you're interested in what's going on and why, stick around. This procedure is for Windows 10. It's basically the same procedure on earlier Windows versions, and I'm sure there's something similar in other operating systems. So let's say this notepad program is whatever you want to prioritize, such as a video game. First, open the task manager. You can do this from the Control-Alt-Delete menu. You can press the Windows key or open the Start menu and type Task Manager. Or you can press Control and Shift, hold down Control and Shift on your keyboard, and press Escape. That will bring up the Task Manager. If it looks like this and it's very simple, click on More Details. Here is a list of windows and programs you have open. Let's select the notepad we want to prioritize. Right click and go to Details. Go to Details right here. That is going to select the process because the Process is the thing that's actually running. This window is something that it created. So you go to the window that it created and say what process created this window. Here's the process. Right click on whatever selected. You may have to scroll. Find whatever line is selected. If you mess up, go back to processes and then go to details again. Right click on the entry and say set priority above normal. Do not set it to real time. You will break things. This is bad. Do not do this. You can set it to high. That's really not necessary. All that matters is above normal. Because if you notice, if we right click on one of these tabs and say select columns, we can go down here somewhere where it says base priority. So put a check mark in there and now it'll show you all the priorities. You can see that almost everything says normal. A few things say below normal, things that are not important. If we sort, you can see the only things that are high are very important system programs. A few things above normal that I set, and otherwise it's all normal or lower. So if we right click and go to set priority above normal, you have to confirm it. Yes, change priority. And now it's above normal. This is almost always all you will ever need to do. You'll need to do it each time you run the program. Some things like OBS have a setting inside that will have it set itself to above normal. But this is just a temporary measure where you need something to be above normal temporarily. And it will stay above normal until you close it. If I close Notepad and reopen Notepad, you'll see it's back to normal. And that's it. That's how you do it. Now, what in the world was all that? Basically, as you can see on the back end screen, here are all the processes that I have running on my system. My computer has 16 cores and 32 threads, and there's way more than 32 here. When there's more than one thing running at the same time, there's something called preemptive multitasking. Basically, one core, one thread can only do one thing at a time. In order to have more than one thing run on one part of your CPU, there's an illusion. There's trickery involved where it'll run program A, then program B, then program C, then program A, then program B, then program C, and it'll switch very, very rapidly, way faster than your screen even updates. And it gives the illusion that more than one thing is happening at the same time, but in reality, they're all just switching around. But they don't choose when to switch. Windows itself interrupts them and says, you switch now. But the priority tells Windows how important something is. So if it's above normal, maybe it lets it run for longer before interrupting it. Maybe it's more likely to give it back to a CPU sooner. And the opposite for this, if your computer is being heavily used, this stuff is basically not going to run because it's not that important. Updating temperatures and, and RGBs and all this other stuff is not horribly important. You'd rather your game run great. But that's all priority is. It tells Windows how important something is, so it's more likely that Windows will give more resources to it so that your emulator will not stutter your web browser will instead. So like my streaming program, my audio normalizer, my emulator would all be running above normal, and then everything else on my system, like some you know random folder or something decides to run, is all gonna be put in the background. Steam has an update. It's gonna run in the background, and it's gonna wait its turn until the higher priority things give it time. But that's what this is. And there's just a quick little tip for you. So for now, I'll be seeing you.